Hey, Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 5.3, number 53. And here we were asked to identify the zeros of the graph and their respective multiplicities. So let me just change colors here a little. Um, so I've got a zero here at negative 4, negative 2, 1, and 3. So that's why you see me listing them out. I've got my zero at negative x equals negative 4, x equals negative 2, x equals 1, and x equals 3. And things that I want to take note of here is that this is crossing the x-axis, right? This one is also crossing the x-axis. We're crossing again, and then I'm just going to write one more cross here, right? So we're going to cross the x-axis each time out. None of them are bouncing off of the x-axis. And whenever you pass through the x-axis, right, whenever you cross the x-axis, that means you have an odd multiplicity. So I'm going to go with the most, the most basic number of a multiplicity of 1. That's my first odd number that's positive. So let me highlight here. That's why you see I say multiplicity of 1, multiplicity of 1, multiplicity of 1, and multiplicity of 1. And just to give you a little counterexample, right, if you pass through the, or not pass through, excuse me, if you bounce off the x-axis, that's when you would have an even multiplicity. Oops, that's not how you spell even. So if I was going to extend this, let me change pen colors. If for some reason this came back around and then bounced on the x-axis, right, it didn't, it just touched the x-axis, then this would have had an even multiplicity. Now that's not part of this problem. I just wanted to extend it for fun. All right. Thanks so much. Bye.